was just 12 hours ago. I was sitting at the beach, 80 degree weather in Florida, spending some time with my wife, just chilling and come back to this and check it out. You guys see it? Look at it. It's all white snow everywhere. Nasty, cold, ridiculous. That's what you get for uh, you get for living in the Midwest anyway switching up gears a little bit heading to the shop uh, I'm still off for a couple more days but I come back and my injector pump in a house is all clogged up for uh, my basement bathroom and I need to go to the shop and get a router you know one of those metal uh, thingies that you put in a pipe and you can root out things I am pretty sure I got at least two or three of them in a shop so I'm heading there right now we can say hi to uh, we can say hi to honey when I get there and then back to dirty work nasty isn't this crazy all this snow and it's cold it's like 28 degrees don't like it I'm so jealous of you folks in Florida or down south See if we can spot honey. Oh, there's Vicky holding honey. She's looking at her reflection. Oh yeah. yeah. Woo. Okay, so you want to hear was how honey doing? She was in her little cubby. Yeah? She came out. Honey. So she knows her name. Honey. Hi, girl. Hi, oh. hey, baby. How are you? Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh yeah. How are you? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what is that? That's a mic. Yeah, that's a mic. Oh, don't need my mic. Yeah. She's so good. Yeah? Yeah, she came because we were calling. You know, you were looking. Yeah. She saunters out. She was in her little bed. She's like, oh. what? She, nice. She's smart. She comes when you call her. Well, guess what? This is what I need. Adrian got it ready for me. This will do the trick. We have a big one, powerful one, but uh, this go. is the router that I need. I, I literally got maybe two and a half, three feet of pipe that I need to get to, so this should do the trick. All right, I gotta go back to work. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, honey. Honey. <laughs> honey. Meow. Bye, baby. So I'm, uh, I'm about to leave, and then I come out, and Adrian is sitting on a ladder fixing our lights outside because the one of them bulb went out and the other one is what what's the name of that thing the the sensor yeah the dusk down yeah when it gets dark it yes. senses and it turns automatically and one of them went out and Adrian being an electrician that he is saving money for us because this call would probably cost us a couple hundred bucks so that's how we save money. We do a lot of stuff ourselves. All right, my friend. Good luck. I'll see you Monday. All right, see ya. Yeah, now, now back to the dirty work. I want to answer this question actually that I get quite often. Um, you guys ask where the shop is exactly located in a reference of Chicago. So the shop is almost eh, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the traffic, northwest suburbs of Chicago. And I used to live very close to the shop. A couple years back, we built a house and we moved a little bit closer to the city. I used to be like five, eight minutes from the shop in a town called Lake in the Hills. Now we moved to the town that it's called Sleepy Hollow which is about 25 minute ride for me to the shop, but it's closer to the city. So I'm kind of now in between right of expressway too. If I jump on expressway, I can be in the city like in half an hour, but then I got to drive about 20, 25 minutes to the shop, which is cool right in the middle. I like that. Now Sleepy Hollow, it's not the same town that a lot of you might be thinking of the Sleepy Hollow where the movie was recorded. Um, upstate New York I think there that's the town Sleepy Hollow and that's the legend and that's where the movie was made so it's not the same town but it's still cool name Sleepy Hollow people ask me all the time very little town there's only like 3,000 people in the town of Sleepy Hollow where I live so yep 
All right, I'm in my uh, storage slash utility room in my basement. I had this de uh, humidifier installed right before I went to Florida a week ago with a thermostat in it with a sensor outside and we needed one for the winter for sure for the whole house but here's the tricky part as this thing is running it has an exhaust of water that comes out and then goes down those tubes and down to the drain and that's my uh, injector pump my bathroom is right behind this wall so there's pipe in the ground going this way into an injector pump and also this drain that goes into that injector. What started happening every time the furnace is running and this humidifier is running is shooting water into this and this uh, this trap, water trap is supposed to eject the water to the injector pump and it's somehow clogged up and the water comes up so I was able to open this little tap and I could clean out a little bit out of there because my builder for some reason put so much concrete all the way around this trap <laughs> that, uh, that I can't get that lid off but there's a little excess hole that I was able to clean out a little bit out of there but the pipe that is going from here to there the three feet that it's right here it's clogged up somewhere in the middle so that's why I went to the shop to get this little guy and give it a go and see uh, if I can clean out the clog so so far this thing is not really working I got the water running in a bathroom and see it keeps coming out here and then obviously it's draining because I opened the top here but it's not going directly through the pipe here the, the, this pipe, this pipe comes out, meets the other pipe and goes out here somewhere. It's clogged up, the injector pump just kicked on, but not a good situation. Not a good situation at all. All right, all right, different solution. So the water is gone in there. What I did when the water was coming out, I took a regular plunger and I put against this pipe and I started plunging as hard as, as I could and guess what something just got loose and I don't know if you can see in this hole big blob it's disgusting big blob of, of toilet paper or whatever came out inside there I'm gonna try to fish it out some of it now look at my hands they're nasty <laughs> dirty job guys I don't know if I should even share this with you but uh, I think I got it unclogged I think I got it unclogged so let me just clean up this mess now here and look at my knees all wet from leaning in the water sucks to be a plumber I guess <laughs> all right the toilet. toilet toilet is flushing nicely water is coming down nothing is clogged up clogged up you gotta protect all this stuff. We can't have a flood over here, right? That would be a shame to have all this stuff go to waste. Well, it's like six inches off the ground. Nothing would happen, but hey. All right, all cleaned up and changed up. Hello, Miss Ma. Did you guys ever meet my other kitty? Hi, baby. Her name is Ma. She's 20 years old. But she's still pretty mobile. She's a lovely cat. She takes pills every day though. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one more here hiding somewhere. He's probably hiding in my bedroom behind this curtain. Are you there, Mr. Annex? Hello? Hello, buddy. Can you guys see him there, right there in the corner? big black spot hey onyx come on hi buddy hi buddy now his name is onyx he's three years old and of course man is everywhere um yeah 
Me and my wife are definitely cat lovers, but uh, she follows around everywhere, right Ma? All right, my wife told me to make some squash spaghetti today. So I gotta go get some more ingredients. I got one squash. That's enough for two, but I'm, I'm, I'm making a dinner for four, so I gotta go get one more and a few more ingredients. And I gotta get some um, meatballs as well. So I never had a squash spaghetti. This is the first time I'm gonna be doing it. Hopefully it's gonna come out good. So I like to cook. Believe it or not, I enjoy cooking. So I had to stop in a Polish deli. I got a few things, a couple baggies over there. But I always grab these kolachkis and they're freshly made. Oh my gosh, I already had like three. They're deadly. Peach, peach, uh, strawberry, cheese, and I believe cranberry. Unbelievable, just insane. Gotta love these. Mm. So good. I'm saying they're deadly because I can eat this whole box like in five minutes. So I'm back from shopping. You know this storm that came in and hit us with this snow came in so early in the season that actually some of the trees still have the leaves on some of the bushes like right by my house. Look at all the little bushes they still have leaves on but most of the trees lost their leaves but still it's so early I'm kind of worried that see this weeping willow I put that in about three weeks ago uh, maybe a month now you know three weeks ago and this pine right there I put it in two weeks ago I'm hoping they're gonna survive because you know getting hit with the cold weather like this and so much snow that early in the season it's never good for the plants so all right let's time let's start cooking now before wifey gets home so don't worry guys this is not gonna be a cooking show um, I just bought this basil that it's fresh um, in a pot it's $2.29 you can buy you can buy just a small package for like $1.99. Why would you do that when you can buy fresh, set it on your window and use it over and over again? Oh man, one, one day technology is gonna be good enough that, uh, that you're gonna be able to smell right through the screen because it's amazing. Anyway, doing the squash spaghetti for the first time. This is the one that I had. This is the bigger one that I bought. And then I'm gonna also, besides the meat sauce and uh, meatballs that I'm gonna use for this, I'm gonna use some sweet peas, Brussels sprouts, and um, asparagus. All this stuff, I'm gonna bake it so it's nice and crisp and it's gonna go on top with the meatballs. So it should be really good. I'm not gonna bore you. We're not gonna go through the whole process, but I'm excited. So I love cooking. So what is this guy is doing? Everybody's thinking, why is he showing us all this? Guys, I'm changing things up a little bit. I just had a five year five-year anniversary on YouTube and I've been talking about reselling buying trading tactics for all these five years I think I covered pretty much anything that can be covered there I did live shows with many other people so I want to change things up a little bit and I think possibly it would be interested for you guys to see what I do on daily basis so I'm gonna try to do more daily vlogs and I'm gonna try to implement more things that are going on in my life on a daily basis. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still gonna be lots of shop, you know, shop stuff going on, buying, selling. Um, Little Honey is, is the new <laughs> mascot in the shop, so we're gonna be showing a lot of kitties as well, and things that I do around the house and my normal life. So let me know below in the comments if you guys are up for something like that, um you know and if you don't i get it i understand but me as a creator i need to explore new things i think i covered so much about reselling that i don't want to just keep doing that and i get it if you want to unsubscribe because you are just for that content go for it 
but I need to start new things, change things. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring my wife into the into the videos a little bit more as well. If she says okay, she's kind of shy on a camera. She's been in a few videos, but she doesn't enjoy it. Uh, so anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys are up for something like this. But look, stuff is getting ready. I got my squashes ready to be put uh, in a, in an oven. Got my veggies. Got my beet balls, and I also started already making um, guac. We are going, uh, me and my wife later on, and we are going to see some friends and family. We're gonna play dominoes, and everybody's gotta bring something. So I'm bringing some fresh, fresh uh, guacamole, and uh, and that's it. I really, really pre appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.